Hello from the very north of Germany, dear road trip fans. I welcome you today to a scenic ride on the northernmost road in Germany. On the beautiful islands of we are on the beautiful islands of Sylt. It is a touristic toll road on the Ellenbogen area of the island. It's a natural area with uh, with a landscape of sandy beaches and dunes. The Ellenbogen Peninsula is about four kilometers long and between 300 to 1200 uh, meters wide and the road goes uh, mostly through the middle of it providing access to many nice sandy beaches on both sides sides of the peninsula and also to some lighthouses it is a tall touristic uh, road with many cyclists and walkers on it the pavement is not of best quality with concrete plates but it's okay uh, the purpose of the road is not to provide a fast access somewhere, but to enjoy the landscape around. It's, uh, it's a relatively short, short uh, drive, but slow. We paid here 6 euros for, uh, for the toll. But I think it is it worth every cent of it. The road with its uh, beautiful nature is definitely a highlight on the touristic island of Sylt. We spend one week on the island and I can only recommend it as it is very very nice despite the somewhat uh, higher prices for almost everything here on the island. And now let's say some words about Sylt. It's the fourth largest German island and the largest German island in the North Sea. It's uh, located about 9 to 16 kilometers of the mainland to which is connected, it is connected by the Hinderburg Dam. So it's te technically not an island anymore since they built this dam, I think in 1927. The island has an interesting shape and extends for some 38 kilometers from north to south. And on the north of, uh, of uh, the island is uh, uh, the Danish island of Romo. It's quite close, you can actually see it very well from Ellenbogen Peninsula. And to the south there are the islands of Ambrum and Föhr. Some, some other very beautiful islands, you have to visit them someday also. On the western shore of the, of the island there is a very long sandy beach towards the North Sea. While to the east there is a Vaden Sea. That's a very shallow sea that falls dry at low tide. It's a very spectacular phenomena. And it's also a national park. You can do also walks on the on the seabed uh, during low tide. Nowadays Sylt is mainly a touristic destination and it's very popular for second home owners. Many celebrities own a home on the island. Also Around this luxury tourism, there are some, some local industries that developed also with many manufacturers for local products. Being the quite exclusivist place, Sylt is also quite expensive in comparison to with other holiday destinations in Germany, but it definitely worth a visit. There are many activities and attractions on the island. Besides sun bassing, you can do various walks and there is also a very dense network of bike pass, passes. There are also golf courses on the island for the fans of the sport. And uh, the gastronomy is very good, being seafood centered, which I, I liked a lot. Many fish, uh, fresh, uh, fresh fish, very, very good. There are also some nice old buildings to be admired mostly in the villages of Kaitum, Kampenor or Morsum. We stayed one week on, on Sylt and enjoy, enjoyed every day of it. We never got bored and managed to fill our days with this, uh, a lot of beautiful attraction on the island. The weather was also perfect during our vacation. It's not every time like this, but we you can see we had uh, like you can see during this video mostly clear skies with balmy 20 22 degrees celsius and now enough of talking i will let you enjoy this drive to the end of the peninsula and back with some music 
But if you want to ask me something I haven't mentioned or everything about the island, just feel free to, to write me a comment. I'll be very glad to, to answer to you. So sit back, relax and enjoy the scenic drive till the end.
Thank you.